Ooh, controller support. That's a nice start. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Next Fest October 2023 Metroidvania demo. This is for Vulpis, and apparently it will remain active until the end of Steam Next Fest on October 16th, 2023. So I've got another five days or so from the time I'm recording this to play it. Now, I'm not going to lie. Based on the screenshots alone, I'm reasonably certain that this is not likely to be a kind of the, the game for me. But I figured I'd try it anyway because I've been proven wrong a couple of times already in these. Tonight, like never before, all eyes are turned to the sky as the rogue planet Vulpis makes a close pass of Earth on its voyage through the solar system. Luckily for us, all Vulpis gravity... Luckily for us all, comma, Vulpis's gravity will have an insignificant effect on Earth and the moon due to its Earth and its moon, Earth and our moon, due to its relatively low mass, which scientists explain by enormous cavities. Which scientists explain is due to enormous cavities taking up almost the entirety of planet Vulpis's volume. Or something like that to actually, you know, make sense. However, multiple weather services around the world report increased electrical activity in the atmosphere. Without a doubt, this phenomenon is caused by Vulpis, but the origin of, its rem of it remains unknown. But you just said the origin of it is Vulpis. Huh? Also, why is there a line break after but? When there are, cl you could clearly fit another couple of words in there. Whatever. English teacher, folks. So, ooh. particle effects. Now, as I've mentioned in previous videos, over the lockdown uh, for COVID and at various points in time, I have played around with Unity. So I know a little bit, I am less than an amateur, but I know a little bit about Unity and the Unity asset store and stuff. And this character looks like something that is a stock Unity asset. I can't remember exactly where I've seen it, but this is what it makes me think of. You died. I'm going to put the you died thing overlaid on there. Oh, I have been transported. Whoa, what just happened? Where am I? Wait, is that... That nah, can't be. I think actually there is more animation on this than the, the stock Unity asset that I've seen uh, in various demos, but... Yeah. Um. So what do we have? Well, we've got Earth in the background. We've got a nicely realised tile set with a good colour palette ambience. The actual movements feels decent he does the the whole naruto throughout his arms when he's moving thing it's naruto isn't it it's anime so i don't watch it the sound effect for jumping plays every time it's probably going to get annoying oh i see that was a jumping tutorial and i actually succeeded it first time and then mess it up. Uh, fall through platforms. Oh, that's pretty. Save tree. Uh, pressing triangle opens a bag <laughs> in the center of screen. Okay, bouncing on enemies doesn't hurt them. You just take damage. We've got no attack, incidentally. Uh, unless that's an attack up there. Can I get to it? No. Game over. No, can't get to it. Right. We don't have a map or anything. But we do have... Okay. Take a look at the pixel art on that enemy take a look at the pixel art on the tile set and the spikes and then take a look at the pixel art on the main character 
does it look mismatched to anybody else? Does it look like to anybody else that the entire world is more detailed and has more degrees of shading than our main character does? This is why it looks so, like a stock asset to me. Oh. The what? Oh, okay. So that mushroom just created a poison thing underneath. Which killed the enemy. But also killed me. Transitions w between rooms work fine. But in terms of, is this engaging gameplay so far? Not really. It's like, I can't do anything, so I'm literally just having to avoid everything. Am I going up and over the top? Is that what this is doing? Ah. You found a metal paw. It holds sharp claws and can be worn as a glove, which makes it a dread weapon. Okay. It's got your typical... Okay. It's got decent range to it. I... I'm unsure whether I like the enemies exploding into pixels like that. In fact, I'd argue that the pixels need to be the same size as the pixels for the enemies. You know, keeping everything... I can't remember which video that I've uh, done recently where I talked about pixel scale and how your game... You know, a single pixel, a, a square block of colour in your game should be the same scale for everything. Pixel scale is important at keeping a cohesive aesthetic. We're going to be able to... Okay, so we hit the crystal to get something moving. Bat! Bats in video games. A classic. Now, again, that bat doesn't look as detailed as the environments. Placeholder? Oh, I'm dead. Of course I am. Because I'm not paying attention. We've got a very low life. I'm assuming we can't go through these blocks. No. They make a sound when we hit them. There's no... Uh... Oh, I see. So this crystal makes that move. So far, this is... Ow. Oh, jeez. So far, this has got a really kind of proof of concept feel to it. Like, uh, I can make a game thing. Um... I've no idea when this is due out or anything. But so far, this isn't showing me anything that I literally can't make for myself. I can do this in Unity. Um, 
So I'm, I'm going to need a, a selling point for this pretty quickly. And also... Oh, jeez. Now I think about it, the... It feels to me like the design of the stuff on Earth at the start uses a different design, which again makes me think that this is so far being created using stock Unity assets. And the problem with downloading stock Unity assets is that they're made by different people with different pixel scales, and therefore they don't always match up. I mean, this... Do I have a mouse cursor? I don't. Again, taking a look at the the quality of the pixel art in this tile set and comparing it to the artwork from in fact let's let's load it back up because i'm i'm not really enjoying this enough to uh no comparing it to this you know this looks like it's been made by a completely different artist to the other bits and pieces you know, this looks very kind of low-res, almost hand-drawn in paint style. This looks a different pixel size and uh, pixel count as well. Again, it's a nice tile set, this. It's, it's got nice use of colours, but it looks like it's drawn by a completely different person to the previous one. And this looks different as well. So, that's an issue. Let's take a look at the steam store page right guide a lonely fox through a vast interconnected world of a mis of the mysterious planet vulpis in this metrovania style game explore non-linear paths and not new abilities fight enemies overcome obstacles and unravel the planet's mysteries to find a way back out yeah so they understand the, the whole point of a metroidvania um so this is from the demo see now that's yeah those t th th this and this yeah they look like they're drawn by the same pixel artists likewise these enemies are reasonably high resolution i'm not a big fan of the water shader and how it works although it does give a nice wibbly effect on certain things this cave does not look like it's drawn by the same person that's done this likewise this dungeon also doesn't look like it's drawn by the same person that did this or this this looks like it's taken from one of the owl games based on on that kind of tile palette and again this doesn't look like it's drawn by the same person or this the pixel scale is different the way the shading is done is different what you need to do is either learn how to do pixel art for yourself or hire somebody to do all or somebody or a small team or somebody to, to do all of your designs and keep them consistent with a consistent i'll go in look at this again completely different style apparently there is a map but but we haven't found it um let's take a a watch of the trailer because that might give us Yeah, you can just see the... Uh, look at that! That's 8 bits! That's slightly more 16 bits. Back to 8 bits. It's like... It's massively inconsistent. And, and people are going to notice this. People are going to have things to say about this. Don't get me wrong. It looks like there's some interesting ideas here. But visual coherence is is not one of them right now. You know, lots of different biomes. That's good. Different abilities to use. Air dash, ground stomp. In terms of prototyping a Metroidvania, this seems like it's got a load of really kind of on-the-mark ideas. But it's so incohesive visually yeah I, I I'd, I'd say actually that my feedback such as it is is more to do with the actual 
look of the game than it is to do with the gameplay. And that's that's weird to me because normally I'm I'm more critical of gameplay systems than I am of visuals. Yeah, yeah. Um, the Vulpis demo. I don't know whether I've been overly harsh on that, but I think a, a, a visual cohesive design is important. And this currently doesn't have one. And I think that needs working on before anything else. Create a, a visually cohesive world with the right kind of pixel counts and density as your most dense tile set. Because if you don't, then some things are going to stand out as looking out of place. And that's, that's, that's going to be... A problem so that's that's my feedback on that so far not a lot played i admit but i'm just getting kind of drawn out of stuff and uh, from a gameplay perspective i think only having two hits is maybe a little bit harsh at the start of your game i don't know that that's that's probably a skill issue many hours later hello again damaging from the future here I was just editing together my footage of Vulpis and I realised that I went off on a massive tangent about visual identity and aesthetic cohesion and I didn't really give the game itself much of a fair chance. So I've just decided, because I've got a little bit of time, that I'm going to play a little bit more oh see there's something i didn't see this is an effect that i first saw in the shante games where death pits are shown with a series of translucent rising skulls so it's nice and clear that that is what is going to happen to you if you drop down there and i appreciate that greatly what i don't appreciate is these bats Why does that open up a giant bag? Oh, I see what's happening here. I assume we're going to have to continue onwards across the room. No, I don't. They're actually really difficult to hit. And for some reason, I didn't duck then. And the issue is that it's a really long... <sighs> I kind of feel like this game controls better with the analog stick. Which makes me wonder whether it is using the corgi engine in unity because having played around quite a lot with the corgi engine myself i know it sometimes has issues with this <sighs> the hitboxes are substantial right does ducking actually help me here no okay so that's useful Maybe this was a bad idea. I thought I, I I I thought, you know, I should do due diligence and give the game a bit more of a shot gameplay wise, just to see if it's doing anything anything that really kind of leaps out at me in terms of ah, here's a unique selling point. But so far, apart from the, the Shantae style... <sighs> I think those enemies are simply designed to hit you. That sounds like a really silly thing to say. Um, I assume there's just more death down below us.
No, no save points. <gasps> save points. There we go. Progress has been made. Wonderful. Boss time? Okay, let's see what the game's got to offer in terms of... Uh, it's got a scaled-up version of the slug. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, okay. Maybe give me some chance to react before you, you know, have the enemy hit me. This is just a scaled up version of the enemy, isn't it? Oh. Okay, so it's scaled itself round a bit more or a bit earlier than I expected to. Ex expected it to. Oh god, it's hitbox it, uh, versus the range of our attack. Oh, Jesus. If you're going to have an enemy with a hitbox like that, you definitely need to give us more range. Or a defensive maneuver, a backstep, something. Yeah, the way it switches round. Oh, God. Oh, oh fuck's sake. This is not a massively engaging boss fight. He's very spongy. And you can take two hits before you die. Which with these hitboxes... See? It feels like standing in front of him is just too dangerous. Oh, feck's sake. <laughs> the, the, the worst thing is, it's not even doing any attacks. It's just that it's got such a big hitbox that we can't actually... It's too much of a risk. Oh, we also we've got a little bit of momentum. Oh shit! Yeah. I suspect these things would still kill me since they haven't disappeared. See, they get a little bit of knockback. Now, I want to test something, and it's probably a really silly idea. Ah, okay, never mind. There's a checkpoint straight after. You found a map. The paper looks old and faded, but you can easily recognise places you visited. Uh... Can oh, there we go. <laughs> I was going to say, can I? 
So save points are marked. Different areas maybe have different colours. There are actually links between areas in terms of boundaries, but they're actually the, the rooms are placed so close together that that was actually quite difficult to see from the trailer footage. Okay, gloomy catacomb. Now, th this is a, a good example of being able to see the difference between the sprite artwork. Okay, that's a dark area which we're going to need some kind of light for. Okay. Seems to be uh, working through... Such a good... See, again, he... Completely different art style... I'm wondering if the, the characters were from a particular pack and... Hey, who are you? And what is this place? I used to be a traveller, just like you. And this is my home, just like yours now. Just like it's yours now. I don't need a home, I would have one. Do you know how I can get back there? I know that you can't. But no need to be upset. Look around, I... Look at how wonderful your new home is. You'll soon... Maybe you'll... S maybe soon you'll love it as much as I do? I mean, technically that makes sense, but it's not very good English. I'll see you around. Uh, what? Not entirely sure why I just randomly attacked then. Um. Oh God. So, uh, note to self: you can actually fall through bridges. And it looks like those are hard checkpoints. Okay. There's, there doesn't seem to be any auto saving. Okay. So we can't go through there because we don't have whatever ability we need to get through there. Okay, there's some platforming along the bottom here. Nope, not making that. Okay, so we can't go this way. Unless... I'm stuck. And technically we could maybe get over there? There's no way of... Uh, scrolling the camera down, by the way. Okay, so let's take stock. In order to get there, we need to get through some blocks. In order to get through there, we probably need a double jump. In order to get through there, we need the ability to see in the dark. There's a downward connector there. Which, i got to be honest, I don't actually remember seeing. So, <laughs> that's a bit of an issue. I'd love some more feedback on the enemies when they get hit not this room is it no okay there's a platform along the bottom it's not actually even this room that's got the huh this looks like an opportunity for secrets you found a shiny silver coin. It's covered with weird looking symbols. Okay, so that's a collectibles pouch. Does that really need to be a whole screen thing? Can't that be in like a menu tab? <sighs> Wake me up when it's over.
Right, it's this room. It's got a dam connector in. Oh, but it's behind these purple blocks. Which we have no way of getting through. There's, there's no way we can navigate through that. So it has to be... It has to be something to do with down here. There's, there's no other way that we can go. Right, now there's a, a, an area from down there. If there's a secret, wonderful. Okay, that works. Gold coin. Copper coin. Uh. Oh, yeah. It hasn't overwritten something. Ah, is this a... Aha, uh -huh. okay. See, this enemy's got a different art style to our main character. Without the ability to look down. And of course, falling to your death is uh, an insta-kill. There's, there's no... So we have to get a run up. This is great level design. But there's It's just guess work. Yeah, you have to get a run up, otherwise you don't jump as high. How many attacks do you want to take, mate? Versus our two hits. Oh, jeez. So you have to go down and somehow fight that enemy. <sighs> oh, God's sake. that four five hits oh and that falls through it anyway <sighs> this isn't very good love a save point so I don't have to go through this each time.
Dynamic combat. That's by a tree. Oh, f right. So you introduce a wind blow you back mechanic as you are jumping over a pit of spikes. No. Bad. Bad level design. So, to add to my original feedback about the aesthetic dissonance, we now have just bad level design, frankly. There's, there's nothing positive that I can say about this. This feels like somebody learning how to do a video game. You know, there's the odd bit that's like, oh, well, you know, they've put a secret where I'd have put a secret. They've, they've got a, a loop around a piece of terrain where I might have you know, put a loop of terrain, but the bats are really annoying. The harpies things have got far too many HP for this stage in the game. We've had no way of getting more health. And I appreciate that, you know, maybe I've only played all of 30 minutes of game, but if I'd paid for this, this would be my I quit moment. This would be my nah, this isn't worth my time and it's certainly not worth my money moment. This would be my, ah, where's that Steam refund button? So I'm glad that there's a demo in that sense, but in all honesty, I would have waited quite a bit longer and got the feel and the look of the game down a little bit more before trying to, to, to drum up some hype. I appreciate as I've said, that that sounds really harsh, but I've played a string now of demos and I've edited together a string of videos with demos that I just don't think should have been released. I think they needed more time to cook. And then you can release them and say, hey, look at this cool vertical slice. Crow Sworn, for example, the Crow Sworn demo that came out not too long ago. That was an excellent demo. Admittedly, a demo made by more than just a single developer, which I'm fairly certain this is. But they decided to wait until, and they took two months out of their development to create a really polished vertical slice. And in the process, got a load of systems down, got a load of art and this, that, and the other down. And then they put it out to get feedback. This, I think, isn't taking the, the right approach anyway i've done my extra 25 ish minutes of due diligence back to whatever i was saying wherever i was slotting this into my original video footage past emma take it away thank you very much for watching folks let me know whether you agree with my critique down below in the comments if you've watched this far until next time Stay safe, stay fabulous. Cheerio. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.